this is the new toy race company's airborne division, which is called the Lost Tribe of Me. And we're here, this is a door we built out of the burning wall. Step through this door with me, I'll take you into the land of me. Coming across here, the last section of the burning wall still is in existence. So where we are actually standing now is the no man's land that used to be between the two walls. No man could walk on this land without being shot. So here we are, like on no man's land, surrounded by pieces of peace, the MiG-21 fighter plane. And the project that we're making here on this piece of land is to try and take this plane and its brother, which we also have, in to build them into a show. <laughs> the show, these two aeroplanes, one representing death and destruction and age rotting, and the other one, which I'll show you in a minute, which will be representing uh, life and hope and freedom. And with these two, we're going to make a little story. And uh, this story will be about, about the end of militarism, about how all these machines, all of these weapons of death and destruction are becoming as obsolete as the dinosaur. scared of them because it was completely different. There are only men. Met them in London. When one of them got me to tow their broken down truck with my truck across London and uh, promised me a drink. I was wondering what was going on, which I never got.
so in Amsterdam, we built Stonehenge out of cars there, and we did a, a couple of shows and a bit of a festival there, right? Then we had made contacts in Berlin. It was West Berlin at that time. It was in the summer of 89. So we then left. Some people didn't leave Amsterdam, you know, they were quite happy there. But the rest, you know, the few of us who were into it, drove down to Berlin through the transit road. Well, when we left from Amsterdam, our biggest concern was that we'd have a problem to travel up the transit road, because at that time, it was still East Germany. 15 vehicles all the way from Amsterdam to Berlin, through the transit, no problem. The transit police were really pleased to see us as a circus like ours, crazy vehicles, and they let us through very easily. We well, basically just lived in the middle of a park in the middle of an area called Kreuzberg, right, which is a rough sort of area, Turkish area, full of punks and that and just lived in this park that had been the main railway station before it had bombed. Uh, much landscaping going on, big mounds of earth, quite an interesting desert-like environment, very hot summer. And there we lived and worked. Well, here we have the, the gate. It's finally open. <laughs> And the body was made out of a Volkswagen Beetle car, which they call a Kather over here. And he was built on uh, on railway wheels, or on the wheels of a railway thing, yeah? And he was sitting on the last bit of railway line that was left in this huge great station, you know? And it actually went over a canal bridge, and then the wall was straightway, was on the other side of the canal bridge. But the actual tracks went right through the wall and went out into East Germany, you know? So the idea really was to build a sculpture and give it to the east. On another trolley was this bird, all built out of silver and chrome bumpers and that. Big flying bird, which we called the silver bird of peace. And the idea was that we wanted them to open the gates and let us push this bird through the wall, you know, to, as a, you know, all that sort of stuff, as a gesture. Of course, nobody wanted it. You know, the, the East Germans didn't want it, the West Germans didn't want us to do it, the NATO didn't want it, uh, Hanukkah didn't want it, everybody didn't want it, but we did it anyway. And last night, yeah, ten of them came. Cut the tracks, <laughs> and then painted a white line. We know this is uh, their answer to our request to accept a sculpture. Is empty. No. <laughs> months after we finished it the wall came down and people in Berlin had been saying this wall can never come down you know what I mean that was the general opinion was that the wall would never go. I kind of feel we've been robbed of it a little bit because our idea was to set one sculpture in the in the west one in the east and then one day when there was no wall we wanted to go back to Berlin to reunite the two but they haven't accepted the, the one in the east as yet, so we haven't, we've been robbed of the, after the walls down, we've been robbed of the, the moment for reuniting the sculpture.